We are back on Hardcore History. This is episode four, and this is episode one of Great America Halloween Haunt. Um, this is the first year of the haunt, so it's not 2007, and there's not any real coverage up until mm-hmm. 2008. There's no footage, so we will be looking at that today, but I have... With me, John from Higby Horror Hunt, and I have also a 2008 Great America Halloween Haunt <laughs> theme park map. Things definitely got some uh, some wear to it. <laughs> Eleven years old. <laughs> you can hear the paper crinkling. Um. So, what do you want to hear first? The haunted mazes, the twisted attractions the live shows are the scare zones let's start with the shows so the live shows ed alonzo that's max from saved by the bell oh so they moved him to great america then huh yeah we're con it's ed alonzo psycho circus of magic and mayhem he did this the last time we had season or the media passes to their halloween event he was back and they stopped. He may still be back for all I know. Um, but they stopped doing the media night, sadly. Uh, there's comedy, sports, ghostly improv. You'll never know what happens when our hilarious cast of improv comedians take the stage and deliver a dangerous dose of comedic entertainment. Didn't see it. <laughs> Dave Hill's Haunted Hypnotics. Hypnosis. Master hypnotist Dave Hill is out to put a spell on you, but whatever you do, don't fall asleep deep into his uh, trace. Trance. They don't watch it. We Here's the deal. We went on this thing super on a night. I want to say it was close to the end of the year because this was also the first year we went to Halloween Horror Nights. Mm-hmm. Um so it's close to the end of the year because I know it was like a last second decision to do it. We like we had been to Halloween Horror Nights and we were like had the the crave to do another one of these before the year was over, like bad. Nice. And so we did this one. And it was pouring down rain all day, oh, shit. and we pulled into the parking lot, and there was probably fifteen cars in the parking lot. Damn. And we basically had the park to ourselves, and all the maids were open. And they scared us, and it was all, like, whatever. Um, but I don't remember any of the shows. And I hardly remember the scare zones. Um, but going through these mazes was fun. Um, so, Twisted Attractions, mm-hmm. Camp Gonna Get You, was uh, Welcome Campers Camp. Uh, are getting ready to experience the great outdoors at this summer camp. Um chock full of memorable activities but once the sun goes down this takes place on a dark twisted side the souls of the campers from years past lurk deep within the shadows waiting to manipulate anything that comes within their path um with the nearby river as the only escape route you must flee into a hollow log to escape their wrath. So it's the flume ride. Oh, yeah. Flume ride. Cool. Um, what it really was was just some people scaring you in line and then you got on the ride. Oh. Yeah. So it was like a pre-scare and then you just did the ride. Yeah. Oh. Because their, their, log, their log is all outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, scare zones, the gauntlet, deep within the fog, these tortured... Um, scared souls are out in full force and ready to unleash their mm-hmm. fury on anyone who dares to run the gauntlet. This is 
a uh, Knott has, uh, or around this time, Knott's had a scare zone called the Gauntlet as well that they had had for quite a while. This was like a tunnel that's in front of the demon for whatever reason, mm-hmm. and there's just people inside of it, and it was um, smoky. <laughs> Uh, Underworld Alley, I think this was like a um, cemetery. As night falls, falls upon the forsaken graveyard, yeah, there you go. The deceased awaken from their graves, looking to wreak havoc on those brave enough to enter their territory. This was a pretty cool walkthrough. Mm-hmm. Um, Dead Man's Cove, Ahoy Mateys. The is, this, is this the haunts or is this still scare zones? Scare zones. Okay. The captains and his cold-blooded crew are in search of their missing treasure. Only the treasure isn't your ordinary beauty, booty. It's your soul. Don't remember that one. Um, watch your back. These crazy zombies, this witch doctor, are under the witch doctor's spell to bring back as many souls as possible to their master. I think that was more just like a zombie thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now the mazes, Carnival. Hurry, hurry, step right up and don't be shy. The most gruesome carnival is back in town. Get ready to face your worst childhood fears as demonic clowns from and other freaks of nature ter- are terrified guests at every corner where they have turned the tables to make you the attraction. There's Club Blood. Follow the undead Ooh. to the hottest nightclub around. Club Blood, this club has it all. The latest beats the hottest dancers. There's just one problem. It's overrun by hungry vampires waiting to feast on their next victim. Watch your neck or you'll be next. Corn Stalkers, a cult of evil scarecrows lie in wait in this overgrown path of debris, hay bales, and corn stalks. Guests must weave their way through the twisting maze of bedlam, dodging a series of dead ends and avoiding the stalkers who are dead set on forbidding anyone to escape. Uh, the slaughterhouse. Do I hear 7580? Going once, going twice. This year's meat auction was complete success, and now it's off to the slaughterhouse. There's one thing wrong. Humans are the main course. You'll have to make it out alive or you'll end up being dead meat. And then Werewolf Canyon. Be careful as you venture deep into the murky woods through the hunter's trail where hunters have become the hunted and a pack of bloodthirsty werewolves have taken revenge on those who dare inside their domain with only the full moon's light to help you navigate through. Can you make it out alive? It's funny. It sounds like they have a lot of the exact same mazes as they just had last year. Um, <laughs> so I can tell you that Great America, yeah, they don't change anything for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And even when they change something, they keep what they have and they add like a maze or a scare zone. And then they keep what they've had for most of what they've mm-hmm. how long as they've been around. Um so what you're going to do is you're going to make some decisions, and if I have a video of it to show you, I will show you. The walking in to the, uh, to the park, would you want to go left or right? Uh, Great America? Yeah. Um, I think I would go to the left towards like uh, New Orleans. So you would probably run right into number one, which is Carnival. So let's take a look at Carnival. We do have some videos um, of these mazes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> this is by the Sacramento Bee back in the day. So we get ready to walk into mm-hmm. Carnival. Walking into a clown mouth. Typical. <laughs> this remote. This looks like Very the funny. Six Flags Carnival. Mm-hmm. Clown. Yeah. Blacklit. I think we have that now. So. 
Yeah. Wide open room yeah. with a lot of black lit stuff. Clown jumping on some boxes. Definitely a typical clown maze where it's all black light lit. The guys of Oompa Loompa. <laughs> One like monster looking thing. I don't know. It looks like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn tickets. Looks like bodies on yeah, spikes. Looks like uh, a bar. <laughs> a lot of fluff is it like a stuffed mm-hmm. animal thing yeah I think it's a claw machine do you crawl inside the claw machine no that's pretty crazy looking. oh that's cool so we got the claw picking up a clown head stuffed animals everywhere hanging that's always fun that monkey's <laughs> real <laughs> this is weird yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a rag doll. <laughs> it's a monkey. <laughs> yeah, it's like a monkey rag doll. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely a 3D maze. You see people wearing the, the 3D glasses. Yeah. More clowns. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're trying to be clowns, like uh, killer clowns from outer space, but they're not killer clowns from outer mm-hmm. space. They're trying really hard to make it look like Killer Clowns yeah. from Outer Space. It's like an asylum part, padded walls, and some chains. It's very long, may as well give it that. Mm-hmm. A psycho Clown. Clown banging up on some glass. Mm-hmm. Very much like uh, the bread demon from Insidious at Halloween Horror Nights. Mm-hmm. Damn. You're kicking it. You guys are just kicking <laughs> the shit out of it. Now we go oh. into the strobes. In the seizure room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a black and white clown with a birthday hat on. Mm-hmm. And cotton candy everywhere. It's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Scares actually aren't that bad. I mean, yeah. 2008. I mean, they're even to the camera. They're giving off some pretty, pretty decent energy. I'm just always amplified once you're there in person. Yeah. No, yeah. This is a pretty, uh, pretty fair maze, really. Yeah. Spiral thing for you to look at and get all messed mm-hmm. up. To end it. <laughs> That's a cool, cool maze. Yeah, not too bad. Um, you know, a lot of times you watch videos of mazes and it's easy to sit there and be like, well, that's not very scary because you're not there. But um, that, just based off of going to them and watching videos, you can really tell. So you would actually come to the gauntlet, the gauntlet in a different spot, more towards the front right side of the park where Top Gun was. Which I couldn't tell you the uh, scare zones really at all. Yeah. Because it was raining, so there wasn't a whole lot of people. I'd say we have the minimal amount of actors out on the street. (laughs) So this is really just them, like we described. It's a main stretch with fog, and there's a bunch of... The characters looks like all different kinds of characters. Looks like a clown. Yeah, but I saw <laughs> he's a zombie clown. Oh yeah, there's Far and Evil. Far and Evil, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, camera work back then was uh, it was a little weird. rough. Yeah. <laughs> got very shaky mm-hmm. with the cam right now as he navigates yeah. through the gauntlet. 
I'm trying to like um, see what some of the buildings to even get an idea of where they're like at in this video. Is that the pizza place that's right here? There's another zombie looking guy. Yeah. Looks very Mardi Gras style. Now there's a bearded lady. lady. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Uh, this stairs on very much feels like a mosh posh. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, oh, we got some leftover clowns. Uh, we got there's like a something. Like thing. <laughs> one night feature. One night feature. One night feature. It's short. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. wow. You want to know the future? You want to know your future? You want to know your future? Mm -hmm. It's short. Uh, there's a lot of clowns in the gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. Should have just been a clown scare zone. Movie not all tie together. Five you know? and ten. Witch Doctor's Trail, which I don't have a video of. Scare zone. And then five is Werewolf Canyon. So I don't have a video of either one of these. But mm -hmm. I can tell you the Werewolf Canyon had a scene that just nailed us. And it was a dude hiding in the trees. And he was behind... It was right when you left, he he got us good. Um, moving around to the middle, we come to number nine, Scare Zone, which is Dead Man's Cove, and I have a video of that. Which part is right Right in the middle. Oh, okay, so it's like... Around where like the uh, the water park basically kind of starts. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Everything's very blue lit. Mm -hmm. This video is kind of dark though. Yeah. Yeah, that scare had a glow stick. <laughs> So they're like zombie pirates. Yeah. Cursed pirates. Cursed pirates. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, <laughs> all bad. Very shoddy uh, camera work here. So we're seeing more just blue. Yeah. Basically, blue, people blue green lights with fog and, and pirates. some pirates. <laughs> <laughs> then moving, we come to number six house, which is camp going to get you, which was the log ride. Yeah, yeah, Don't have that. that. Number three, corn stalkers. This is actually a more, newer um, walkthrough, the video quality metal. Won't make a difference to you, but for yeah. John and I to describe, because um, Corn Stalkers has been part of this event, had been for over 11 years, they finally stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. um, this one, because uh, Knox has done this one as well. Um, it's always been like one of my favorite ones, just because the storyline. And the smell, because you get that smell of like the fresh, you know, corn. the corn and um, it feels the very fall. It feels Halloween. It yes. feels it feels very fall. Yeah, I will smell say of that. hay. They always have hay usually in the hay bales, so there's that like straw smell. I remember when we when we went, it was raining. Um, that year, 2008, mm. it was fun. I went two years ago on this, and there was like no one in it. It was very disappointing. Yeah. That's kind of what tends to happen with, um, I know with knots, and I'm sure it's similar to Great America, is um, as the years progress and a maze kind of sticks around, it becomes like the the bottom of the barrel maze, and it's like that's the last one to get filled with scares. It's like usually a brand new maze is top priority, so it's like it's filled to the gills with scares. So, I mean, it's like constant, and then you'll go to something that's been around for a while, and it's like 10 scares or something in like a full-size home. Yeah. I can't believe 
So what corn stalkers is is a lot of you know, burlap and barn wood type walling to make it look and you're walking through cornfields and it's kind of like a low key like a poor man's Take oh, Texas hey, Chainsaw because it's more like, like Oklahoma ride, Massacre or something. Mm -hmm. As these people are chasing you through the cornfield. Usually, and then they have like the scarecrows and stuff like that in there. I mean, it's not a bad time. It's not. Mm -hmm. I remember thinking that it was fun to listen to you and do it. Yeah, this one comes a lot. So corn stalkers, John, when you went on in Knott's Berry Farm, mm -hmm. did you enjoy it? Yeah. I love it. It's, it was always one of my favorite ones. Just because the storyline at Knott's, I don't know if it was similar to the one here, but it had to do with Wizard of Oz. So it was a, it was like a dark side of Wizard of Oz and like the Scarecrow's Tale. So they had a bunch of like uh, references to the evil witch and stuff like that. And um, I, I just thought that was always really cool about it and then you know they included a lot of crows and stuff with it and the whole scarecrow aspect and they did like a lot of scenes where like there's crows that were just slaughtered by the scarecrows huh and i thought that was always really cool um moving on here to wrap up 2008 great america coming around the bend number three corn stalkers we got um the Slaughterhouse, this one was very stereotypical slaughterhouse. Um, you can see in here, you walk in, and it's very like, uh, again, it's almost like a, a low-key Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. I think this one was more, you were, you were being slaughtered and then processed and sold like at a supermarket or a restaurant. That was kind of like the thing that they wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. I the met the story that you were, they were wanting you to get, um, but overall it was it wasn't necessarily a bad house at all. Yeah. But it's one of those houses that again stays around too long mm -hmm. in the coming years, and um, gets really tired after a while. That's one of the things that talking about, you know, Halloween Horror Nights is it's interesting what properties suffer and what properties thrive when Halloween Horror Nights repeats them. Mm -hmm. For the most part, they don't repeat. For the most part, a lot of these other theme parks kind of do, yeah. besides Knott's Berry Farm, uh, these, these California ones anyway. Halloween Horror Nights has a lot of changing up each year compared to mm -hmm. uh, everybody else you'll see that yeah well and a lot of that is you know when you're dealing with a place like universal they obviously have the budget where they can pull this off and then granted it's been showing in the last i don't know what three four years yeah that the budget really hasn't been there but they've i mean they've been pulling it off where every year it's a new lineup it's there's something new to get excited about um they kind of make it to where if you miss a year, you really miss a year. Yeah. Um, you know, luckily with like knots, I think I've missed one year. But it's like you go the following year and the new mazes that came in last year are going to be there. So <laughs> you can still experience them. Um, but, um, but yeah, so I mean, that's, that's definitely something Universal's got going for themselves. And then the last maze that we have as we see a bunch of hamburger meat get ground up is Club Blood. And this was a fun one. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, you're going to this nightclub yeah. and it's vampire ridden mm -hmm. and it's very yeah. almost... Uh, they took the scene from Blade and they created the maze for it. Yeah. <laughs> Down to we're having the people in 
be, basically being farmed, where they had them in, in like the bags, and they're draining their blood. Yeah, in the first part of the maze, like you're walking through this back alley. It's mm-hmm. very ghetto, um, and people, you know, you're getting kind of propositioned by this hooker vampire. Oh, and a pimp vampire. And a pimp vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's the bouncer. Making, yeah, you see the bouncers, you make your way into the club. Mm-hmm. And I mean, come on, you got vampire girls on poles dancing. That's always nice. Great distraction. Yeah. <laughs> then there's a whole bar set up. Mm-hmm. Lord. Oh, yeah, he's putting his hat on. <laughs> Now we got some drinking, uh, drinking vamps. Mm-hmm. Yes, because that's the way to do it, is to drink your blood through, from a martini glass. And then it just kind of takes another a, a turn, because mm-hmm. you're like in a castle, and then you're in like a lab, mm-hmm. and it's very like keep the vampires alive. Yeah. But overall, so here's the thing, I went to this this event this year and I wouldn't come back for until 2017 to Great America Halloween Haunt. I was doing other stuff. Um, but I enjoyed this this park. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought having not done I can remember having not done um, I don't think I had done Knott's Berry the year before. I don't know, this was the first year. I don't think I did Knott's Berry. I think we just did Disneyland, and then we did Halloween Horror Night. So not having mm-hmm. an understanding and having going to this, I remember it being pretty good. Yeah. Like, we had a good time at mm-hmm. this event. Um, so, yeah, I would have given it, like, an 8 or 9 out of 10. It was not Halloween Horror Nights, but it was still a lot of fun in comparison uh, two Halloween Horror Nights. Have you been to uh, Six Flags yet at that point? No. No. <laughs> no. Um, we will get there. 2014, I believe, was the first time I had been to Six Flags. Mm-hmm. Um, Discovery Kingdom. I wasn't big on going to theme parks like without my parents until 2008. And then I was starting to like just go down by myself, you know. Yeah. And so that's when this really became an option. Mm-hmm. Um, and so now I can't imagine not doing at least Halloween Horror Nights. Try to do two, three things down south a year because it's so much, you know, more prominent down there. Yeah. Um, no, it's growing massive down there. I mean, you can, you can eat. I mean, you do a great job basically spending the month just up here which is mm-hmm. which is awesome because you know i would have never known that there was that many haunts in this area locally to do mm-hmm. so you know that's that's really cool but down there i mean it's like you do it there's, one a day. there's not enough days mm-hmm. in the month to even come close to doing what they have to offer down there yeah i mean it's it's insane yeah um well next week we will get into the first years of Discovery Kingdom um, that we can find uh, some kind of a record of. Um, actually, I take that back because that's a 2014, 2013. So next week we will start doing Halloween Horror Nights Round 2 and we will have multiple episodes on 2007 Halloween Horror Nights, which Ooh. is the first year that John went. Mm-hmm. Um he was one year ahead of me. So 2007, John went, yeah. and it was uh, Jack with Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface. It was kind of like a low-key carnival carnage thing. Yes. And so we'll Very get... Very low-key. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into all of that. We'll try to mm-hmm. find some maze videos. Um, we'll try to find uh, you know some stuff from Bill and Ted to talk about. We'll do all of that. We're going to try to find the Bill and Ted audio... Mm-hmm. Or the hanging audio. Um, I actually have video from that first trip. Do you? Yes. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Right so now. we may even watch that, and then we'll 
we can, we can do the about. podcast. Um, so all of that stuff, um, we will uh, we will be doing next week. So we thank you for listening and stay spooky. It's almost haunt season. Oh God, yeah. <laughs>